Do I have to answer the question? <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. So today we went around campus and we asked a bunch of students some questions that we thought might be interesting for you guys. So let's get on to it and I hope you guys enjoy. Probably Langadol, the new building, because it's really nice and like green, and you can study there. Uh, outside the Erasmus Sports Center, uh, Polak. I'd have to say the Erasmus Sports Center as well. Um, my favorite part of campus probably be the new Erasmus Sports Center, because the food is really good and like uh, there's a gym and like activities all the time. My favorite part of campus, I guess, I library. Uh, I think the the gym is the the best part to. Be on um, it will be the Erasmus program day and school life and the last I would say four or five days a week. Yeah, yeah same. Uh, seven days I live on campus. I usually go to campus at least three, four days per week because we have like lectures or workshops and then I prefer studying on campus. But if I really have to study in exam, like season that I usually don't come to campus that often because I can't concentrate to that extent so it's either like almost every day or practically no days like <laughs> it depends mm, five or six days a week for sure yeah. I live on campus so it's great I'm here all the time uh, probably like twice a week um, once for basketball practice and like usually for a workshop a week like well I already live in campus so like I come probably four times See, that was really interesting. I was really lucky with housing just because uh, we were struggling a bit with two friends and then we saw this like house on one of the websites, like an apartment for rent, and then we just called them and they were like, do you want to come for a viewing in an hour? So we were in a food plaza on campus and then we just ran to the viewing. The lady liked us, we sent all the documents and we got our house, but it, like if that hadn't happened, we would have struggled. Uh, when looking up on the website of uni, like uh, eware.nl, I think uh, there's like uh, information about even on campus as a first year. So, hat has your I applied, I got in, I'm so lucky. So, yeah, that's how. Um, I didn't find housing, my roommates found housing. My, uh, they found housing through like uh, websites like Room Plaza. Um, but then we ended up getting housing just by contacting the, some um, uh, real estate agents like directly. Uh, I found my apartment on Erasmus Housing WhatsApp group. I was added there and I found a girl who was looking for a roommate. I don't really remember, so... I yeah, guess. I have no idea. Yeah. Uh, just I spoke to people, I guess, and they gave me instructions and then I found uh, an apartment. Yeah, my sister already lived here, so she helped me find uh, housing. Um, it was very difficult, honestly, but I found housing in, like, Zior. Um, so yeah, online, when I was in Spain, I just really good. Um, I think on campus housing, I'm doing that right now and I love it. It's so convenient, so yeah, I would recommend that. I lived on campus housing last year and I absolutely loved it and thought it was like the best thing because it's especially good for first years to kind of get to know people like in your program or similar programs and it kind of forces you to socialize however I kind of do like living in an apartment because it's like you're a bit more free to do your own thing sometimes the neighbors can be a bit of an issue but it's more kind of like an independent feeling well I think the best one is campus housing but I wasn't lucky that's why I'm renting out uh, an apartment a shared apartment so yeah I think at the as a first year student it's better to live on campus so you like uh, get to know people uh, because you're always on campus so it's really great and you meet, get to meet new people but for a second year and third year students or even masters I think it's better to have like a nice place with you like a roommate for example I think it's good on campus housing would be the best yeah. uh, an apartment most definitely I'd say definitely student housing. Um, I think first year is better to do student housing, but other than first year, you should definitely get like an apartment so that you can be more independent and kind of do stuff yourself. Because in student housing, you're like a bit baby, in my opinion. Yeah, I do have insurance. I have our own, our own insurance, something like that. Um, I have insurance, but like I think I have an international insurance and I got it, it's from the US, so I don't know exactly the name, but it's not European, but it works here. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do, I have a Dutch insurance. Good. Um, I have the, the Owl student insurance. Uh, 
uh, I have no clue, I guess, I guess. <laughs> European insurance. Okay, so not the Dutch insurance. No. Okay. Uh, yeah, I have silver in groups. <laughs> House parties. Uh, I prefer house parties. Um, I think it's just more chill because then you don't have to go far and it's really fucking. I mean, it's really cold. <laughs> it's really cold. So, like, it's really difficult to, like for me to go outside. <laughs> I would say definitely house parties. Yeah, yeah me too. House parties. Uh, I enjoy both. I can choose. It depends on the mood of the night, but I would say uh, house parties. House parties. I feel like I prefer house parties more just because, like, Clubs are really nice as well, but not for that often. Then house parties, you can just like chill with your friends, and it's more of like less effort, but it's still fun. Probably for Italia because it's fairly near, and I think it's like better looking than like birds or the ones nearby. Um, I've not been to many, but maybe lunch. <laughs> uh, I really like Peron, but the best place to go is Point. Like venue wise. I would say Peron if you like techno. I feel like Italia, I think. It's either between Munch or Villa Italia. I know that's a bit contrary because people don't like Villa Italia, but it's like a five minute walk from my house, which is really convenient, and the music is that fast. Mm, I don't prefer clubs, that's why like, I can't name any. Do you know any Dutch food? Um, not food, but like sweet stuff like strip waffles. Or... Okay, yeah. <laughs> Stroopwafel. Uh, bitterballen. <laughs> bitterballen. Oof, none. <laughs> no, wait, wait, let me think. Puffer Uh, probably bitterballen, because it's simple. I think stroopwafels. <laughs> yeah. Uh, student life. I mean, it's quite... The, the cost is quite high, but just to be with uh, so many international students, I, it's just lovely. That's why I started in Rotterdam is I think the international like atmosphere and like the fact that it's Dutch like you're in Europe and you're in a Dutch country but the thing is like everyone speaks English and it's easy to integrate into the culture like for most people. Mm, the city I would say and the infrastructure overall. Uh, it's not just Rotterdam but the freedom of like not being with your parents all the time. <laughs> uh, I'd say the nightlife is pretty good here. Uh, probably the international environment. I just love it the best. <laughs> I don't have a bike here. I live quite close to uni, I just walk. Uh, I took I took it for, for my home. Yeah, I took it for my home. I just got a swap feet. Yeah, I have swap feet as well. I bought it in the bike store that's near campus. It's like um, on the street where the tram is. I don't know the name. I got a bike in Paris, so I just bought it, bought it here. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed. Mm -hmm.